Once again, I do not see any videos on how to replace the ignition switch. And Vanagon's on YouTube, so here comes mine. Let's see, this is the 1983 Vanagon, and I'm having starting issues, so we're going to start here. Let's start with these two retaining screws at the bottom. Be sure to put your screws somewhere like here where you can barely see them, so later on when you go looking for them, you'll probably vacuum them up instead. Okay, pry off the center of the steering wheel. That wasn't too hard. I just ran the screwdriver around the sides, making sure not to break anything. Now we've got to remove these two wires back here. Turn on your ignition and turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. This is a 24 millimeter socket. The instructions say to pry off the steering wheel, mine just popped off. Okay, let's unplug all these wire assemblies. The instructions say to turn the key to the on position. Let's remove the 6 millimeter bolt here. Let's remove these three screws here on the steering column. I need to get this plastic sleeve off first, then I can pull this housing off the steering column. Okay, this slid right off, and I need to take out, take out this Phillips screw holding in the ignition switch. Okay, there's my new one on the right, next to my old one on the left. Let's just put that new one in. New switch is in, and now I can put the assembly back on and put the plastic sleeve back. Be careful. Once the steering column has been pushed down through, it'll pop out here. So you got to make sure this is back in snugly before you start putting these parts back on up here. Okay, put back in the three screws that hold the uh, wiper and blinker column. Okay, put the housing back on. And uh, make sure when you're putting it on that when the screw drops out that you're putting it on that it lands in here somewhere. Okay, put the nut back on, tighten it to the specifications in the Bentley. Alright, I just cleaned all the connections to the starter. Let's see. There we go. I just went back in and I centered the steering wheel and I also cleaned the contacts for the horn. I should have done that when I was in there before.